Herbal poultice and herbal compresses have been used for thousands of years as a natural and effective healing method to treat muscular and skin conditions. These treatments date back to the 14th century in Thailand at the time of war. To reinvigorate the soldiers returning from the battle, a selection of medicinal herbs was first steamed and then applied to their bodies to alleviate pain and soothe inflammation. Both poultices and compresses are still used nowadays as natural healing treatments in wellness centers to treat a wide range of skin complaints including eczema, rashes, insect bites, muscle ache, sprain, and arthritis. Based on the healing effect we want to achieve, this treatment can have a cooling or warming effect. A cooling effect is used for skin inflammation, rashes, sunburn, insect bites and to minimize swelling and dull pain. A warming effect is used to relax the tense muscle and stiff joints, ease muscle aches, increase circulation and detoxify the body. The main difference between herbal poultice and herbal compressus in the process of preparation. What is a poultice? A poultice is a herbal preparation made by blending or grinding dried or fresh herbs into a paste and then applied directly to the skin. How to make a poultice? Ingredients. White cloth or gauze. Bowl for mixing. Fresh or dried herbs. Plastic wrap. Preparation. Choose herbs based on the healing effect you want to achieve. The amount of herbs depends on the size of the area you treat. If you plan to apply more than one application per day, make a bigger batch. Wash fresh herbs in cool water just if visibly dirty, gently shake and chop them into small pieces. Place the herbs into a mortar and pestle. Carefully mash the herbs to release their natural oils. Add enough hot or cool water to help the mixture turn into a paste-like consistency. Spread the paste over the affected area, directly on the skin. Tips. When working with stronger herbs or if you have sensitive skin, it is best to spread the paste between two thin cloths and then apply it to the skin. Wrap it with a cloth or with gauze. To keep the warm effect last longer, wrap the area with plastic wrap. Keep it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Thai Herbal Poultice A blend of medicinal herbs is wrapped tightly in a cotton cloth or muslin, steamed and then applied to the body with gentle pressing and circular movements. This method is recommended for a maximum therapeutic effect. Ingredients. Fresh or dried herbs. Yarn or thread. White cotton cloth or muslin. Herbal steamer or a pot with a colander as an alternative. Preparation. Choose your favorite herbs, dried or fresh. Take a handful of herbs and place them in the center of your cloth. Tie the top of the cloth with yarn and create a firm and tight bundle, no bigger than a tennis ball. Use a steamer or a pot with a colander. Place a pot with a little water and bring it to a boil. Add a colander inside and place the herbal bundle in it. Cover with a lid and let it steam for up to 30 minutes. Check the temperature before applying it to the body. The same herbal bundle can be used twice per day, before making a new batch. What is Herbal Compress? A herbal compress is a cloth soaked in a herbal infusion or decoction, and then applied to the skin. An infusion is made for tender plant parts like leaves, stems and flowers. A decoction is made for harder plant parts like roots, seeds and bark. Ingredients. Dried herbs of your choice. One pot with a lid. Filtered water. Soft cotton cloth or muslin. A fine strainer. Preparation. For an infusion, place the dried herbs into a bowl, pour boiling water over it, cover with a lid and let infuse for at least one hour. For a decoction, Pour herbs into a stove pot and cover with cold water. Bring it to a boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer for up to 20 minutes. Then strain the herbs material. Once the infusion or decoction is made, let it cool down a bit, before applying. Finally take a piece of cloth and soak it in the liquid, wring out the excess liquid before applying it to the skin. Reapply when needed, using a new piece of cloth each time. Herbs for Muscular Pain Ginger is anti-inflammatory, good for stiff joints, muscle tension, poor circulation, arthritis, and menstrual cramps. Comfrey also called, knit bone, is anti-inflammatory, and good for sprain and strain, broken bones, swelling and edema, arthritis and tissue damage. Arnica is an analgesic, good for muscle stiffness, sprain, strain, and arthritis. Cannabis is analgesic and anti-inflammatory, good for muscle spasms and cramps, and joint pain. 
St. John Ward is anti-inflammatory, analgesic, good for nerve injuries, sciatica, joint inflammation, and sunburn. Herbs for skin condition. Aloe vera is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, good for skin irritation, minor cuts and wounds, itchiness and sunburn. Calendula is antifungal, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, good for healing wounds, soothing dry, itchy and irritated skin. Plantain has anti-inflammatory and cooling effects, good for inflamed skin and dermatitis, rashes, and insect bites. Marshmallow relieves skin irritation, sunburn, dry skin and insect bites. Mullen is good for wounds, burn, bruises, skin infections and insect bites. Herbs for chest infections. Onion, fight infection, reduce congestion, cold, and cough. Garlic act as a natural antibiotic, fights bacterial infection and reduces congestion. Eucalyptus is antibacterial, decongestant and expectorant. As you can see, the benefits of herbs are almost limitless. If you are looking for an alternative and natural treatment to help you cope with stress, pains and aches, consider trying herbal poultices and compresses.